my friends, my friends. Hey, it's Coffee and Tunes, Coffee and Tunes. Hey, you got your cup of coffee? Here you go. Get a sip now. Hey, how are we doing today? I hope you're doing good. Thanks for jumping on. Thanks for catching this video, wherever you're catching it, probably YouTube or something like that, some kind of social media site. Um, hey, it's the holidays, can you tell? Got a Christmas tree right up there. But I wanted to uh, get on here today and maybe just talk a little bit about the holidays, maybe play you a few songs since it's coffee and tunes. You know, I'm thinking I'd play you a couple of songs of mine and maybe a cover song, a traditional Christmas song. So, hey, here's what I'm thinking about. This is a holiday time, right? Let me set my pick down there. It's a holiday time. It's time for us to get together. It's time for us to share and to spread joy, maybe give gifts, receive gifts, that type of thing. It's more important to give, as always, you know, better to give than to receive. But listen, I was thinking about it this year, especially. It's a hard time for a lot of people going into the holidays. As we we're going through the holidays, you know, we just had Thanksgiving and we we're heading into Christmas and everything. But there's a lot of people out there that struggle with the holidays. And there's a lot of people that don't have family members through the holidays. There's a lot of people that may have lost a loved one, a parent, uh, a sibling, you know, a family member, good friend, something like that. You know, that's something that's just taken a bit out of them. And the holidays are a very hard time for many people. I mean, even our veterans, you know, you got to think about all the people that serve our country or have who have served our country. You know, now is a good time for us to think about um, getting out there and helping other people. I mean, it's good to spend time with your family, do those type of things. But now is the time to think about maybe being bigger than yourself or thinking past yourself. You know what I mean? Hey, my phone's, uh, my phone thinks I'm talking to it. And I've got the TV on here. I get so distracted. It's, it's not really on. It's just screensaver or whatever it distracts me. All these pretty sights. But hey, it's Coffee and Tunes. Uh, I can't wait to share these songs with you. But anyways, I was talking about getting past like yourself, trying to do something more than yourself or more than even your family, that type of thing. Maybe finding somebody that you're friends with that may not have anybody, you know, during the holidays. Maybe it's time that we reach out, invite somebody else into our home or into our hearts or into our lives that we might be able to touch. I mean, even if it's just one person this, this holiday season, maybe one, maybe two, three, four, five, something like that. Wouldn't that be fantastic? Wouldn't that just be awesome to, um, you know, to do something bigger than yourself? You know, if you've never done it before, if you do it every year, that's that's awesome. If you've never done it before, you know, don't wait around for a group or, you know, take charge, take charge, be a leader or just do it anonymously or just do it by yourself or whatever, you know, be a leader, step forward and decide, hey, I'm going to help somebody else out this Christmas, this holiday season, because it's not all about me. It's about, I mean, there's bigger things that Christmas is supposed to be about, right? The birth of Jesus. Um, <laughs> that's what it's supposed to be about, really. And the giving of gifts or his family receiving the gifts, you know. So that's what it's all about without getting so into it. But uh, what you think about this? this time of year. Hey, I want to play the song. I don't want to ramble on too far here before I play something for you because it's coffee and tunes. Hey, speaking of coffee, I love me some coffee. Here you go. Mm. Ah, so good. So good. You like your coffee? How do you like your coffee? I actually drink my coffee black these days. I got to the point where I cut out the creamers, which I used to love the creamers and the sugars and all that stuff. And uh, I just like it black, straight up. I've gotten used to it. It's good. How do you like your coffee? Huh? Hey, before we get too far and into this song, I, I just want to get into this real quick. Hey, right down here, if you're watching this on YouTube, there's a subscribe button. There's a bunch of you that have subscribed. I appreciate you so much. But right down here, could you do me a favor? You want to join my tribe? You want to uh, get into this music, this coffee and tunes, you know, the things that we're doing to try to help other people? Subscribe right down here. 
and then go right over here about if you're watching on YouTube, <laughs> if you're not watching on YouTube, you're like, what the heck's he pointing at? But anyways, there's a little bell right there to get notifications when I post new videos and you want to be the first. This is what I'm going to do. If you join or subscribe on my YouTube page, you're going to be the first to get these videos when I post them. I'm going to get them out there to YouTube first and all my subscribers there because you're part of my tribe and I want you to get it first. All right. That's my deal with you. Before I share it anywhere else or on social media or that type of thing, I'm going to get it to you first. But here's what I want to do today. I want to play a couple of my songs. And these are all going to be Christmas songs and then one traditional cover of a Christmas song. But first off, I want to start off with a song of mine. You may have heard it because I've released it. I've released this version, this full band version of uh, with me playing the, the guitar, electric guitar, bass, keyboard, and the drums. So it's full rock on version. It's only like two minutes and 10 seconds long or something like that. So you might like it, but it's called I'll Be Your Santa Claus Tonight. And if you dig it, if you find it on Spotify or Apple Music, Amazon, uh, iTunes, here on YouTube, share it. Put it on your playlist, enjoy it, you know, spread it around. You're part of my tribe. I'd like you to do that. Can you do that for me, please? That's your Christmas gift to me, I'm asking. Please, please. But anyways, here's a song of mine called I'll Be Your Santa Claus Tonight. Santa Claus tonight Now be your Santa Claus tonight Won't you kiss me under that mistletoe Wrap me up in them ribbons and bows Well, I'll be your Santa Claus tonight Meet me under that mistletoe right now Meet me under that mistletoe right now We'll kiss and bring in the new year Hold me tight, won't you keep me near now? Meet me under that mistletoe right now. Wrap me up in them ribbons and bows tonight. Wrap me up in them ribbons and bows tonight. I'll be hiding under that mistletoe. Playing my jolly Santa show well. Wrap me up in them ribbons and bows tonight. Wow! Now be your Santa Claus tonight. Won't you kiss me under that mistletoe? Wrap me up in them ribbons and bows. Well, I'll be your Santa Claus tonight. Let's do it one more time. Now be your Santa Claus tonight. Now be your Santa Claus tonight. Won't you kiss me under that mistletoe? Wrap me up in them ribbons and bows. Well. I'll be your Santa Claus tonight. Now be your Santa Claus tonight. Now be your Santa Claus tonight. Woohoo! And I'll be your Santa Claus tonight. Merry Christmas. All right. Whoa. <laughs> What'd you think about that? I'm wrecking the place around here. Hey, I'll be your Santa Claus tonight. It's like two minutes of pure joy right there. Two minutes of pure joy. How can you go wrong? I, I, I had to list that song when I put it up on the internet, when I put it out there to be distributed. I said, imagine uh, Tom Petty doing a Ramones Christmas song or something like that. It's two minutes long, it's three chords. I'm known as three chord gene in some areas. Um, so, sorry, one of the little dogs distracted me down here playing around. But, uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Hey, cheers to you. Cheers to you. Mmm. Coffee and tunes. Coffee and tunes. You need to get you some coffee and tunes. That might be the uh, new theme song. I need to write that. I need to write that, right? Maybe you have heard the theme song, the intro and the outro that I use, that I've recently put on here for the videos that go on YouTube and everything. Maybe you've heard 
or, or seen the intro and the outro and heard the song in there. That's Shine Down. That's one of my songs. That's the rock version, full band version. Hope you dig it. Yeah, I think last week I played uh, the acoustic version, or not last week, last episode. So that is my song, Shine Down. So I won't get in trouble for using anybody else's song. But hey, I was talking about trying to help some other people out, you know, and I think a good way to help other people out too is just sharing music. You know, and music is always, can be always, wait, always can be uplifting, <laughs> can be uplifting for some people. It can bring some people down. I understand. But anyways, my song, I'll Be Your Santa Claus Tonight, it's just a fun song. Um, I think I had to play like a benefit or something some years back when I still lived in Maryland. And I had to play like four or five Christmas songs, you know, so I wrote that one and I had another one that I wrote that maybe you'll hear next and I uh, played a couple traditional Christmas songs. So that's where that came from. And it's just a fun, you know, three chord upbeat song. And as I said, it's out there on the internet world and all that stuff. So if you want to hear it, add it to your playlist, it'll always be there. You know, take it and uh, run with it. Share it with your friends, put it on your holiday playlist and you know, there's no bad words in it or anything like that. <laughs> so I think you'd enjoy it, but you know, it's good to share music you know share music with your family with your friends with people that might be down a little bit or whatever sometimes music can lift people up i know i've talked about this before and i, I was talking earlier about just getting out there to help somebody else and maybe it's through music maybe you take somebody to a concert or maybe you take somebody out to eat and there happens to be a guy or girl in a corner playing music you know just kick back and relax and enjoy it you know so that's an amazing thing it's something I appreciate, I appreciate when come out to, people come out to see me and, or maybe don't even know me, don't even know that I'm playing, just happen to be there. And, uh, you know, they enjoy what I'm doing. That's, that's my main focus. I mean, I get paid to play my gigs, but I love entertaining people and I love to be able to do that. And I love when like little kids enjoy my tunes. A lot of places I play are family friendly. I'll get kids running up, you know, listening. It just want to participate, that type of thing. I get adults, I get older, older people, you know, that really enjoy teenagers, whatever. I enjoy what I do. So I'll keep doing it. But anyways, so I played I'll, I'll Be Your Santa Claus tonight. The next song I want to play for you guys is a song that I wrote some years ago um, when my kids were a lot younger because now they're teenagers. One's out the door, one's getting ready to be out the door. So, and I just speak as they're out the door because they're older. <laughs> Not that I'm booting them necessarily. But, uh, <laughs> so, I wrote this song for my kids some years ago. And it really just, kind of in a Christmas tra tradition, it talks about Santa Claus. It talks about leaving out cookies and milk. And it talks about leaving a note for Santa and stockings and games. And, you know, girls and boys being happy. And singing about Christmas time being a favorite time of year. So, I thought it just something I wanted to share with you. I've always wanted to get this actually recorded and I need to sit down and do that. I've been a little lazy about that. But this song, Oh Christmas Time, it's for my kids and now it's for everybody else in the world because I'm going to put it out there right here. So if you like it, hit that subscribe button, notification button down there and uh, you'll be able to come back and listen to it over and over again. Oh Christmas Time. Let me go ahead and play that for you, all right? Here we go. Oh, Christmas time, enjoy. Got two little ones, dogs filled with joy, waiting on Santa's trees and all his games and toys. They've imagined every snowflake and every nighttime dream Watching Santa on a sleigh calling every reindeer's name Woo! Well they set up all the stockings lit up the Christmas tree Laid out some warm cookies and milk for Santa's belly both the kids wrote a little note Only Santa to read Oh 
hoping for some extra toys, stockings and candy, and this ain't Christmas time, it's a favorite time of year, oh Christmas time, Santa's almost here, oh Christmas time, it's a favorite time of year, oh Christmas time. Santa's almost here Off the bed now little ones Close your eyes tight and dream Santa and his big red sleigh And every reindeer's name Santa'll be here soon Bring you love and joy In your belly full of laughter For all the girls and boys Well, this ain't Christmas time It's a favorite time of year Oh, Christmas time Santa's almost here Oh, Christmas time It's a favorite time of year Oh, Christmas time Santa's almost here I can hear them little hooves And the jingle bells are ringing No Santa's here I can hear them children singing Oh Christmas time Favorite time of year Oh Christmas time Santa's almost here Oh Christmas Favorite time of year, oh Christmas time. Santa's almost here, oh Christmas time. Favorite time of year, oh Christmas time. Santa's almost here, oh Christmas time. Favorite time of year, oh Christmas time. Santa's almost here. So, oh, what did you think about that song? Oh, Christmas time. I said, it's one of my favorite songs. I don't think about these songs too often, obviously, because they're Christmas songs, you know. And I've had to print out the words so I can read them because I don't play them that often. So, Please forgive me, you know, <laughs> if I'm looking down a lot, that's because I'm just reading the words. It's a once, a once a year type of thing. Maybe a few times in December that I get to play them. But that song, Oh Christmas Time, was written for my kids. And I, I hope you really enjoyed that. Ooh, something's getting to me there. But anyways, sorry. Um, so I, I hope you enjoy what I'm doing here. I hope you're thinking about, while you're watching this video, what can I do this holiday season to help somebody else, or maybe even help a group of people, or can I donate something? Can I, can I uh, volunteer on Christmas Day or Christmas Eve or whichever? You know, volunteer maybe at a soup kitchen or whatever they call them these days. You know, to give your time and your efforts and your energy to other people that may not have family or may be destitute or may not have a home or that type of thing. You know, maybe you can give somebody a Christmas tree or gifts or donate the toys for tots. You know, that type of thing. Um, tons of great ideas, and I'm sure most of you know about all these ideas. You know what to do. You know what to do. You do. You do. You. 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 I'm talking to you. <laughs> you know what to do. I want you to get out there today and do what you can for others as we go on through the holidays here. Because I think, what, time, what, what date is it? We've got just a little bit over a week until Christmas. So, and I, I didn't mention this at the beginning. But I wanted to get this video in here and get it done because it's going to be the last video that I do for this year, for 2019. So uh, I just wanted to get it done out there while, it's, while we got the tree up and we're coming in New Year's and all that good stuff. So Happy New Year to you too. All of you guys that have supported me, that continue to support me, that have subscribed to my YouTube page, that listen to my music all over the internet, whether it be Spotify, Apple Music, 
iTunes, Amazon, or here on YouTube, that type of thing. I really appreciate you day in and day out. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I couldn't do it without you. If it, I mean, if nobody was listening to this, I'd still do it. But, uh, or if nobody was watching this, I should say, I'd still probably do it because someday somebody's going to watch it. But I hope that what I'm doing gives to others. You know, I hope that I give some joy, some happiness in the songs that I play or the words that I say. Maybe I give somebody a different focus, you know, for, for life, I guess, you know, or their days. Say, so, hey, we're going into holidays. We got to deal with family. We got to deal with maybe people we don't want to deal with. Maybe it's one time a year that we have to deal with them. If it's one time a year, figure out a way. Figure out a way to bring it together. You know what I mean? <laughs> figure out a way to uh, put the past behind. Just try to get along for days, especially if you have kids that look up to you and whoever it is you might be in a spat with or whatever. You know, it's tough. I understand. People have some craziness in their lives and it's not just easy to say just put it all behind you know for a day for a day try it try it for a day and then if that goes well try a second day and a third day and a fourth day and a fifth day <laughs> that's just my thought my opinion i'm just giving it to you i hope you hope you take it there but hey i want to play you one more song and this song silent night it's a traditional Christmas song. I was raised and grew up Catholic. You know, we went to church on, say, Christmas Eve, you know, midnight mass or right around there. And the kids would probably do a little play for us. We'd sing a bunch of traditional Christmas songs. Um, and this was always one of them. It was one that always sat right here in my heart. It was a little bit mellower, quieter, um, but I just always felt it. You know, those type of songs I just always feel. And I always just wanted to sing that song. And I don't, I mean, I'm not a great singer. I'm not in the choir. You know, I'm not a bass or a tenor or whatever. <laughs> so I'm going to do my best version here that I can do. It's my version, you know, the complete song, I believe. All the, all the verses and everything. So I hope you dig it. And, you know, sing along if you like it. Share this video. As said, subscribe notifications um you know just take it for what it is you know i'm not the prettiest face and voice on the internet i'm an old man i'm an old man <laughs> i'm trying my best but uh i hope you enjoy this version of silent night as I said sing along if you'd like okay enjoy Lord, I'm born. 
Jesus, Lord, at thy What'd you think? That song is tough. That song is real tough. Hey, coffee and tunes, coffee and tunes. Let me get a sip real quick because I'm a little parched. Silent Night. That is a beautiful song, isn't it? What do you think? What do you think? What's your favorite holiday song or Christmas song? I like to call it Christmas. My family and I, you know, we like to call it Christmas. That's how I was raised and what I believe in and everything. You know, and that's a Christmas song because it speaks of, you know, baby Jesus, you know, little small baby Jesus <laughs> being born and Mary and just everything about that night. And it, it just touches me. Every time I hear it, it just touches me. And to be able to sing it, it touches me even more, you know? So, I mean, to me, that's Christmas time and the shiny bright star, you know, star of Bethlehem and all that. So I say in all that a lot, don't I? <laughs> I got to work on my speech here, but said i hope you enjoy that song it's one of my favorites you know you might have favorite christmas songs non-traditional christmas songs or uh what's the adam sandler's song um happy hanukkah or i can't even remember the name of it i can't remember i should know this because i'm i like adam sandler but anyways what's your favorite leave a comment do me a favor leave me a comment wherever you're watching us whether it be on social media or on youtube you can drop a comment. I love getting some feedback and I love communicating with you guys. You're part of my tribe. So let's communicate here and let's think about it as we're going into this holiday season. I'm going to wrap it up here because I've been rambling on for quite a long time and playing some music. Biscuit wants me to play with her toy, right? Right, Biscuit? <laughs> She's staring at me. I'm not going to show you Biscuit. She might get a little camera shy. But anyways, um, and so it's talking about we're going through the holiday season here. So I want you, you, particularly you, because that's who I'm talking to today, right now, to think about what you can do to help somebody else out or a group of people out or whatever. Whatever you can do to step outside of yourself. Maybe you can get out of your own box and your own comfort zone and do something different this holiday season to get out there and just help somebody else. You know, it's not all about gaining presents and pretty lights and all that stuff. It's about sharing love, sharing um, the birth, I think, the birth of Jesus and what that brought into the world, what that meant to the world and his upbringing and everything and what he said, you know, that's important to me. Whether you believe that or not, that's on you. Um, but it's important to me, the whole birth of Christ, because without that, I don't think we'd be where we are today. And we could be better, right? We could be better. So here's the thing. You know, what are you going to do? What are you going to do this holiday season to promote kindness, to promote helping, generosity, to promote love, you know, that type of thing? What are you going to do? I'm not perfect. I'm no angel, and I find ways 
to not do things. You know, I find ways to be lazy myself, but you know, I hope we can all find a way this holiday season to help others because that's what it's all about. And I hope you enjoy my songs. I hope you, the first song that I play is my way of giving, you know, the, I, I sometimes can't think of ways to help other people or ways to give. So I know I've got my guitar. I know I've got a voice and this camera so I can play a few songs for you guys. I did. What did I do? I'll be your Santa Claus tonight. What'd you think of that? Leave a comment right down there. I'd really appreciate that. I want to know. And secondly, what did I do? Oh, Christmas Time, a song for my kids that I think is a great song for all kids. And even us kids, adult kids or whatever. Leave me a comment right down there on what you think about that song. And then I did Silent Night. Or is it Oh, Silent Night? I'm not really sure. I'll just call it Silent Night for today. Um, let me know what you thought. You know, was it, was it worth it? Was this worth your time? I hope I hope it gave you some ideas of how you can spread some holiday cheer, how you can help others out. You know, as I always say, thank you for jumping on these videos, for supporting me, for subscribing right down here. And that's what I want my tribe to do today. Could you do that? Could you do that for me? That'd be a gift from you to me. So we can grow this tribe. We can get this out there. We can spread the word. We can spread the love, spread the songs, that type of thing. And I hope you can do that. Or maybe, you know what I need to do? I need to write a quick note to Santa or a letter. Maybe it's too late. It's probably too late for this year, but I need to get some more cameras, maybe a couple cameras. I can do a few different angles, you know, maybe get a cameraman or something, maybe my son or something like that. You know, we can get all professional with these videos here with the coffee and tunes. Hey, did I mention that? Coffee and tunes. Whoop. <laughs> ah, so good. Here's some squeaking that's biscuit over there playing with a toy. But anyways, thank you all for joining. You know, I really appreciate you from the bottom of my heart. And I wish you all Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, and a Happy New Year also because we're almost there. But you won't see me again until 2020, new decade. It's freaking awesome. Crazy to think that 2000 was just 20 years ago, but it feels like yesterday, right, for us older folk. But uh, so I hope you do everything you can to get along with everybody that you can, your family and all that good stuff and get out there and help some other people or just share some goodness, that type of thing. All right. So thank you guys for jumping on. It's been Coffee and Tunes again. Coffee and Tunes, Coffee and Tunes. I'm not going to take a sip, but <laughs> thank you guys for jumping on. I really appreciate you guys. Hey, peace and chicken grease. I love you. Merry Christmas. Ho, ho, ho. The